I know him maybe three, four months ago. I met him in international events. And since then, whenever I see him, whenever I meet him, I do learn something new from him. He's a motivational speaker, and you can see that now. Please join me in welcoming Firas Nafer. Thanks for such a wonderful introduction. It's always my pleasure. It's really my pleasure to be among you. And today I will talk about big stories. So today we talk about kindness. Kindness and empathy. Our ability to feel the others. So before you lend me your ears, please lend me your hearts. Dad is tired. He needs help. Firas, help. This is a six-word story developed by Ernest Hemingway to tell a very concise story that is inspiring. When I was a child, I wanted to liberate Palestine, to lift the poor, and help the weak. I walk on the streets of Amman to see a six-year-old kid selling comic books. I wonder why such a kid has to sell these books on this age? Why she has to go to all of these sufferings at this age? I meet another kid, but in another place. When I was much younger, in Wahdat camp, I used to go with my mother to the camp to buy vegetables. I was seeing kids my age helping others to collect their groceries. I felt the world is unfair. Why someone like me? has to be within his mother protection, go to school while, other, while others have to work. In another story, I see a man was forced and taken to a jail. He asked why. Nobody answered him why. He could not make a call. I wonder, how did this happen in this world? After 10 days, he was released, but the trauma in his life was always there. I have heard many stories about immigrants. They told me about the long walks they had from Sudan to Libya to the seas to Italy. They tell me about their suffering, how they say, sat for long hours holding their knees. I wonder. What is happening around us? There was a story that I was told about a Syrian kid. He was in a refugee camp, collecting cans. A man came to him and asked him, what are you doing here? He said, I'm collecting cans to feed my family. Hopefully, I have a bicycle. This will help me to collect more cans quicker. If I have that, I will buy two kilos of potatoes and distribute them to the poor. This is what he was thinking at that time. He needs a bicycle to, to buy two kilograms of potatoes to help the poor. In another story that was very touching and inspiring. That was the story of an Indonesian man. He lost his capital. So he went to the police and told them, I have no money. Can you help? They took him and put him in a mental health facility. For 10 days. In that facility, he caught COVID. And he was asking, why I'm here? Why I'm here? And nobody would answer him. Nobody would help him. Nobody would answer him why he's here. Ten days, a quarantine for COVID, then the police decided to extend his stay for another ten days. What did 
we do wrong? This is the current state of the world. We are really missing the art of kindness. To teach, to touch each other's hearts, to feel what they feel, to feel their sufferings, to understand what is happening in their life. Everybody is, is concerned with his own problems. Nobody cares what has happened with you today. Nobody cares if you are sick, sad, depressed, happy. One day in my down days, I went for a coffee shop. The bartender or the, the girl at the, at the bar said, how are you? I was touched. I almost went to tears. Nobody has asked me how are you for days. I was in another country. I felt so deeply that how are you. In our modern days, people lack empathy. When you lack empathy and you don't feel the world around you have kindness, you become less courageous. You take less risks. And you do not want to explore the world because the possibility of failure can result in a deadly consequences. The lack of kindness is a disease that we need to overcome. Thank you. We have witnessed now an example of continuous improvement. People who already know Toastmaster Firas, we already saw his previous speeches and we already witnessed the improvement that happened so far. And we will listen today from his evaluator and Firas will get to know some areas for improvement. And all of us will learn, even if we didn't deliver the speech, but we saw the speaker and we will see the evaluator. I need you please, it's a call for everyone, to think about how can we apply